So what's up guys, what you want to do now is, um, once you've done, um, finish with your tank, as you can see, I've give it a jolly good clean out in there, got rid of all the muck. I advise using, strongly advise using compressed air, because you get it all out. If you just use like a toothbrush or something like that, easing oil, it doesn't clean it out. All that it does is remove bits, but if you use compressed air, you fully clean them out. And as you can see, there's a bit of muck in there, we're going to get rid of that. And there's a bit of muck in the end of there, make sure that's clean. And this here, it just slides off like that. You want to clean that out as well, um, because there's going to be muck in there. So, I'm just going to simply keep all of it with two fingers. Compress there. Just simply just... Simply just get rid of all the crap what's on it. And then just stick that in there. And then what you want to do is, is a gasket here. Um, I don't know if this will come off. You know, we'll leave that on. Um, so what you want to do is make sure it's pretty clean. Make sure there's no muck on it whatsoever. No muck in there. And what I'd advise you as well to clean out inside here. I'm just going to use some compress there as well. Make sure it's all clean. If you wanted even, you could even clean the outside of the shell. Um, I'm not going to bother like, because I know, I know it doesn't need doing like. So now, it should look quite clean if you've done it right. I know I have, because, and inside there it says your little butterfly. That should work alright, so you don't need to, I don't know if you can see, butterfly, valve. There you are. See it opening and closing. So what you want to do now to put it back together, what you want to do is simply get this mesh string what you took off and cleaned out and just simply slide that back on where you got it from. Don't want to go on. There it is. It's on there. That keeps it a bit more cleaner now. And then what you want to do is make sure that gasket's alright. If you want to, you can make another one. Just use a um, like a um, cereal box. Their the type of cardboard on that is brilliant for this making gaskets. Um, I strongly recommend that. Or you can buy some gasket paper. Um, I don't know where to get that from. Don't know. Well, I've got a roll. I got my dad to get me some. So then what you want to do is mount it back in. You want to just simply just put it put it back in. Make sure everything lines up. Okay. And then it should just slot back in where you got it from. It should just perfectly fit in. And you want to get all your screws what you took out. And you want to do like a corner corner to method. You want to put one side in. But don't tighten it up all the way. You want to like, do it like this, watch. I'm going to screw it in, but don't do it tight. Just do it so it's just nipping. And then you're going to do the other side. Until the other side is nipping. So it's basically like a corner corner to my method. It's just so that they just evenly go down. Well, that's what I always do if I ever take some off. But I'm going to be doing, um, on the Triumph TR7 project, I'm going to be doing a stripped down video of the gearbox. So, because a couple of gaskets and seals have gone in it, I'm going to be stripping it. So, that'll be a video coming soon. 
Alright then, just nip them in and then put the last one in on its own. Then you want to go around them all and tighten them all up. Just so they're sitting in there. How tight? Don't do them over tight, just do them so they're tightened in. Like that. Bit of a creak there. And as you can see, it's all back in. Make sure that seal, what I was on about there, that o ring, is still in place. And you want to get this little gasket. I don't know, that's how I think it's of the air filter. Just put that back on there. That fits on nice and snug. And there you are, that's how you dismantle it. Um, video number three is how to put it all back together. So I'll make that because I'm going to put it all back together now. If you wanted to, you could make a better job of this. You could just clean everything, like all the outside, but I'm not going to bother because it's only going to get mucky again so there's no point <laughs> just make sure the inside of it is clean so yeah um, I'll see you in part 3 on how to do it um, so th I'm trying to make these videos short but it's not possible so yeah I'll see you in part 3 and yeah sorry about that guys um, uh, welcome to part 3 and um, what you want to do is make sure the engine uh, around the cab is clean, get rid of all the rubbish because there's going to be gunk and crap. So I'm going to use compressed air again to get rid of it. Just simply just oh, crap. running out of there. Stick compressor on for a bit. Let's try out. You got all this cleaned out. Let's try it all. Bit noisy. So what you want to do is make sure the air is clean to put it back on. Um, make sure you have your bolts, what you took off, handy, because you'll be needing them to put them back all together. So, from, ah, there's a space already there, but I lost it. So what you want to do is put it back together. You simply want to get your carb and whatever, uh, what's it called, thing in the bobby, as I call them. And you want to put the, um, oh, stupid pipe. Hit it it's in a and you want to simply hook it all back on. Yeah, I've got it back on. And you want to simply line everything back up. Take that off. And you want to simply just just ease it back on into the position it was on before and it's on back on now and then, so what I'm going to do is put a bolt in to support it to keep it in place so it doesn't like move away you could do this if you wanted to but I'm going to do it because it's always easy if you make it being supported um, well I think it is anyway and you wanna now it's a bit got a bit of support and this this is like a vacuum pipe um, make sure you put that back on because it's important that you like yeah you need that on might have to take it off a little bit <laughs> yeah, you need to watch this. And remember, guys, and um, like, try and photograph in your mind how things go back together. 
because that's what I do and it usually helps or what you could even do is take pictures of what you're doing and um, that's what I do if I'm taking some up bigger part like um, an engine I always take pictures don't be afraid to take pictures and people like what are you doing taking pictures of stuff um, actually taking pictures of stuff is a brilliant idea because then you can have a look at it how you had it before and what you've done to change it then how you could basically improve next time if you ever need to do this um, oh crumbs right this part you need to put this in it's a spacer so don't lose it it's a bit late now if you've already lost it but anyway that wants to go in oh, well. wants to go in behind there it goes through there then you have this big long bolt that goes through through to hold the cab up in place which I quite like actually how they've done that and you want to screw that in don't know why I'm using my fingers when we could just use a socket. Screw that in. Until it's reasonably tight. Remember, I so said it's quite snug. That is quite snug. Change the socket. And then just snug that one in. It's quite snug. It's not going to go anywhere. Position that up because you want that in position and you want to tighten it up now so I'm using a socket if you're using a spanner I don't over tight it just want to give it a bit of a tight not too tight so it's snug if you if you want it to get what I mean by that and you want to do the same for that other one not over tight snug and then there you are that's how you put it back on we we'll have to get that with screwdriver. I don't understand why they use this cheap grease. It's like bloody glue. Anyway, we'll leave it there because it's not major. So anyway, that's how you put it back on. Right, you'll have an air filter here. You should do anyway. Uh, this is reasonably clean. It's got oil on it for some reason. But anyway, this is quite clean because it's a new engine. And it's got a bit of muck in it. But anyway, it'll be fine. Just snap it back on. And that goes... I think it goes like that. I think it goes that way. Or does it go the other way? I think it goes the other way. I think I'm right there. Yeah. I like that. Then your big long bolt, don't forget. Make sure that's clean. No muck on it. And then slot that down the centre, then into there. Remember, you can use your flat head screwdriver to do this. Simply just screw it in like that. And it'll be going in. Alright, make sure you get it positioned. Tighten it up so it's fairly tight. Then you want to put the the um, pull start mechanism, whatever you want to call it, back on. You could clean this out if you want, if it's mucky. Oh, remember, um, if there's any rust on the flywheel, just get some fine emery tape or some wire wool even, and just give it a good so it comes off. Um, and if you're having trouble with um, like if you've got no spark get a playing card and use that 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 will set it to the perfect amount well that's what I always do with when I'm setting up points and stuff like that so you wanna sit this back on and it should snuck back on alright you'll know when you've got it on cause it will should be just pop on and then make sure you get everything lined up this is on like that and then you want to get all your screws it's not 3x it's that uh, 
screw them all back in. oil in. I'll show you where the oil drain part is. I think it's underneath the um, lawnmower because I've seen a couple of videos on YouTube how to drain the oil on this and they're using the filler cap to drain the oil. It's like wow are you serious mate? So I presume these people don't have a clue um, how to drain oil out of the engine. I wonder if they know how to do it out of the cars. So you want to tighten them up so they're snug again. Not too tight. Just tighten that one up. Get the one at the back. That one's snug. And if you wanted to, you could clean, clean the engine. Um, but I'm not going to. So the linkage for this for your throttle, I think, does it go around here? No, 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 it goes around here. And that just simply goes back in how you took it off. So remember how you take stuff off, and then that you've got that last bit, and that just keeps the wire in place. I think. Yeah, it does. And that just, you just need a flathead screwdriver and you just tighten it up. Remember, don't do it too tight, but just do it enough. Because I know there's a lot of people out there who just love the tight stuff and then they strip the threads on stuff and, and then the bolt snaps or something like that. You know, just snug and tight and there you are that's how you do it um, that's about it you just want to put the uh, spark plug thing back on uh, if you wanted to you could take the spark plug out and clean it but I'm not going to because oh, oh I might I might get a new spark plug for it um, that's if it needs one I don't think it will anyway that's it guys so thanks for watching uh, remember to leave a like and a comment and remember to subscribe for more videos and if this video helped you well thanks for letting me help you um, remember to leave a like and a comment and subscribe for more as I already said I keep saying that twice for some reason I don't know why but anyway thanks again and see you next time peace